I'm Jake with Senkut Sen. Welcome back to our series on the technical side of bending. Every day, Senkut Sen bends tens of thousands of parts, so we know a thing or two about bending. So let's get into it. On lesson two, we're gonna have an introduction into bend calculations. So if we go over here to the whiteboard, we're gonna have a couple key terms that we're gonna go over from lesson one. So if you haven't seen that episode, go check that out first. And then we're gonna go over two new terms, bend allowance and bend deduction. So as a little reminder, angle is gonna be the bend angle that's gonna be measured on the outside of this part, not the inside of the part. We have pi, it's just a standard um, constant of 3.14 we're gonna be using in our calculations. We're gonna have bend radius. The bend radius is measured on the inside, that compressed side of our bend. We're gonna have K factor. K factor is a constant. If you don't know K factor, um, it's on our website, on our material guidelines. So that's what we're gonna be using as our, our K factor in terms. Thickness, thickness is just the material thickness on the unbent, unbent area. And then now we're gonna talk about bend allowance and bend deduction. Before we get into it, don't worry too much about these equations. We're just gonna be using them as a reference. We're not gonna be doing any crazy calculations today. Um, but we're gonna talk about what bend allowance is first. So when that part bends through, and I'm gonna bring back in this rubber band again, when it bends, it stretches, right? And we talked about that thinning area and stuff. That's how we calculate the K factor. But that stretch is what we're gonna see in this area here. Bend allowance is that midline distance of that bent stretched elongated area. And so it's gonna be a measurement across the center line after it's been bent. So this is an after bent situation here. And this has a handful of these key terms. So we have angle, we have bend radius, we have the K factor and the thickness that are all kind of happening in the background there. With bend deduction, so bend deduction is gonna take that stretched version and we're gonna subtract a lot of that elongation, that stretch so that when we have our part before it gets made, it's shorter and it'll stretch into it. So you can think of this as like, if you're playing football and you're throwing it to a receiver, you don't wanna throw it to where the receiver is at, you wanna throw it to where the receiver is gonna be. So in this situation, we wanna pull back the material a little bit and allow it to stretch into those flange lengths that we want in the end result. So one big thing that we wanna talk about here though is, is that our angle, if we change the angle of this bend, it changes how much bend allowance, it changes how much stretch is all in that bend, which then changes how much deduction we take out of it. So if you go from say 20 degrees to 45 or 90 degrees, it's gonna have more stretch. And you can kind of think about that as, you know, 20 degrees is here and then 90 degrees and 180 degrees, I'm stretching that material more and more and more. And so as I add angle to this, it adds, it's a multiplier here. The next thing is bend radius. Bend radius is also a multiplier in our bend allowance. And that's gonna end up showing up here as well. So it's bend allowance right here is in our bend deduction equation. So our radius is here and here. So it applies twice. And that's why you're gonna start seeing if I have say an eighth inch radius, 0.125 here, and I change this to a point say 0.25. So I make this radius bigger right? You're going to see a lot longer elongation in here, and you're going to have to subtract more material from your part. So with all of these, you can see thickness is in here, K factor. The best way to see kind of the long-term effects is to go play with our bend calculator. There should be a link below. If you go on the website, put in these values on the bend calculator, you can change certain things. You can change the material, you can change the bend angle, and you're gonna see these two calculations in that bend calculator. You can see how they're gonna change. You're gonna see an overall part recommendation for those flange lengths that you put in there. You're gonna see those change as well. The last thing I wanna talk about in this lesson is that um, the bend radius and the K factor and the thickness are all gonna be determined by the material that you're selecting on our website. So if you go to our material guidelines and you go to say aluminum 5052 eighth inch, we're gonna have a recommended K factor and we're gonna tell you the punch or the bend radius that you're gonna get on your parts. When you're designing, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that those are correctly put in there. So that's it for this lesson today. To get pricing on your parts, drag or drop your step file onto our website at sencasen.com.
Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.